Aloha, I'm Susan with Let's Feel Excellent.com or the YouTube channel by the same name. And in this blog, I'm just going to do a really quick, it's, it's, um, it's late, so I just wanted to show you a, a mistake that I made that actually turned out really good. So I wanted to do burgers uh, out of carrots somehow, and I made these, these great little burgers. They're really wonderful. So all I did was uh, shred up some carrots, use my food processor for that. And then I um, just take a couple dollops of our wasabi mayonnaise that we made in, a, in another blog. Mm, that might be enough, just a, maybe a little, maybe a little more. It's kind of a lot of carrots. Um, and so then I just, I could put other things in. I, I think in, in um, these ones here, I put in um, some, some tomato and maybe some red pepper. I was going to put kale, but I couldn't get any kale uh, out here right now. So I didn't put kale. Now, unlike the crab cakes, you don't have to... Um, uh, worry about drying the carrot. The carrot is already dry enough. So I'm going to put some flaxseed meal in. I don't know how much because I'm going to um, let it bind and when it's a good consistency then I know that I have a good amount. So just go by feel. So here we're going to put some uh, almonds ground up almonds again. You can use uh, Brazil nuts or Mac nuts or whatever nuts you want. Yeah, you can see that okay. So we're just going to mix those up. It's really easy. I was looking for burger recipes and I saw that all of them had like bazillions of ingredients so many nuts and then oil and then uh, you know this has nuts and oil but this is not that much not as much as those other ones so you know, every once in a while you want some uh, food that has a little structure to it and so I thought these burgers were great I see tomatoes are really wet so um, this is mixing up differently than, than I had before. You know, I think color-wise and everything, it just really needs the tomato. So let me just do that quickly, and I'll show you how quick this is. So I had already put away some machines, but I will get them out again. And we can just do it in the bullet. It's kind of nice, you know, not being polished, you know, because then we can just create together and I can just walk you through my kitchen. Okay, so we're just going to use a bullet and find the bottom piece here. It is totally off the cuff. This is completely on the fly here. Oh, I guess that is over, over there. So let me Get a tomato, 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 give it a rinse here to wash it off. And I have a cutting board over here, so I'm going to cut it.
I like tomato in just about everything. It just adds a really good flavor. And then I find that, you know, in the times where I was giving up salt, I need to find the blade. Here it is. The times I was giving up salt, this really helped me. Instant tomato juice. So I'm just going to add this in slowly because I don't know, you know, how how much it's going to take. And do I want do I want the peels in there? Yes, I want the peels in there because that's going to give it the color. Of course, if you're healing diverticuli, you can just take out the seeds. It's not going to hurt this recipe at all. That's a little big one there. Yeah, I think that will be so much better. Okay, that's really good. You can do all kinds of things. You could add paprika, you could add all kinds of things, but you don't really need to. Now, just form your, your burgers right on there. Just like that and I'm going to dehydrate them at about you know about 90 or 100 um, degrees for like six hours that's it and that's going to get give me my carrot my carrot burger so you could be creative and um, just make your own kind of burgers yeah just like that Okay, so there we are. I hope you enjoy them. Please give me a thumbs up if you do and share it with your friends. I'm Susan Nutowitz with Let'sFeelExcellent.com wishing you an excellent day. Aloha.